Bobsy McKinnon. Thank you for joining me today. Today what we're going to do is take a look at this jig that I have here and show you how we're going to go from this design in here to a plunge router and we'll do that in just one moment. So we'll spin that intro and we'll get right back at it. back and what I want you to see here is that this jig is built on a platform. Secondly, there's another board that is screwed. You can see a few of the screws here is screwed on to that platform with another board over here screwed on to the platform. Now that gives us one raised board on either side. This board is again screwed on an angle and that angle is going to match the angle of the slot on a bridge. This is about 3 16 of an inch, 5 16 of an inch, but don't hold me to that. Go, go check it out. I don't recall now that I've got this all set up. I don't even think about that. I just put the, the uh, bridge in here and cut it and we're, we're done. But I think those measurements are correct. At any rate, that gives me my angle. These are my stops at either end and my stop up here. And then down here, for some reason, I don't know why, this piece of wood tended to be just a tad lower. So I put some tongue depressors on here, glued them in place. And what I have done is I got some Minwax and I used the Minwax on the top here and on the top of this and on the side here and on the side here. That's to allow the plunge rotor to fit in nice and snug and slide nice and smooth as it goes across. Let's demonstrate this. So here's the router. It's in there. Now, because this piece here, if you can see that there, this piece here is adjustable. The way I did this was I placed it here screwed it fairly snug, made sure it was in tight, and then I brought this end up and did the same thing. Now what I have is something that slides back and forth. There's no wiggle room here at all. None. So the idea of the plunge router is I simply push this down, bring it down a bit, run it across, push it down a little bit more, run it across, and then do the final depth and then run it all the way across. That's all there is to it. So what we'll do first before we do anything uh, is we're going to do a, a practice cut and that will be great if we can get that practice cut down because then at that point what we will find is if there are any mistakes we can fix them. If there are not any mistakes and it's all good to go then we're going to put the um, the actual bridge into this piece. Now, here's where it goes and here's how it fits. I have two wedges here. Complicated, isn't it? I have two wedges here. This thing just simply slides in there like that. This goes in here like this. And that, our bridge, is absolutely going nowhere. The router will then slide all across the top of this and give us our slot in the perfect angle. Now, the width of the slot is 70 millimeters. And I've got that all marked off here. And it's marked off here on the jig right here and right here. These pieces are set in so that the the plunge rotor, when it's in there, cannot go past 70. It won't go to 72 or anything like that. It's going to stop at 70, and it'll be a nice round cut, and we'll take the saddle and we'll make it round on all sides, and it'll fit and look beautiful. So that's all there is to it, and we're ready to go. I just don't want to start 
on this, I always like to start with a piece of scrap just to make sure that I've got this thing right and it's all set up properly. So we're going back over here. I'm going to change the angle of the camera so that you can get a better glimpse as to what we're doing here. All right, let's do that. There it is, it's perfect. Well, we got the slot cut, and just because we can, I took some bone, and I ended up cutting off the bone, and I rounded it by bumping it on the disc sander, and then doing it by hand, and there it is. There's what the saddle is, it, it fits perfectly. It, there's no movement whatsoever, and that's what it's gonna look like See if you can see that all right I'm really excited about this we'll cut away all of this later what we're gonna do next is drill the holes but that's it for me for today and I'm really actually in need of some more English breakfast tea so the, right now it's iced tea but iced tea with milk just doesn't cut it Well, it is English breakfast, so you know it's good. Get yourself some tea. Check out the Tea House, H-A-U-S, the Tea House. Check out their huge selection of teas, and you'll find something there that will excite you, I'm sure. And by all means, please subscribe, hit the like button if you like this, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now, friends.